conservative opposition motion. Coming on Monday, Mr. Poilievre Carlton, that given the many reports of foreign interference in Canada's democratic processes by, or on behalf of, the communist regime in Beijing, the Standing Committee on Access to Information, Privacy, and Ethics be empowered and instructed to study all aspects of foreign interference in relation to the 2019 and 2021 general elections, including preparations for those elections, and to assist the committee with this study, A. Katie Telford, Chief of Staff to the Prime Minister, be ordered to appear before the committee as a witness for three hours on her own, under oath or solemn affirmation, at a date and time, no later than April 14, 2023, to be fixed by the chair of the committee. B. The following individuals be invited to appear as witnesses before the committee on dates and times to be fixed by the chair of the committee, but no later than Friday, May 19, 2023. I the Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Finance, to appear on her own for two hours. Two, the President of the King's Privy Council for Canada and Minister of Emergency Preparedness, to appear on his own for two hours. Third, the Minister of Public Safety, to appear on his own for two hours. I-4, Morris Rosenberg, author of the assessment of the critical election incident public protocol for the 2021 general election, to appear on his own for two hours. V. Janice Charette, Clerk of the Privy Council and Secretary to the Cabinet, to appear on her own for two hours. V.I. A panel consisting of the 2019 and 2021 National Campaign Directors for each recognized party in the House. Zevin A. A panel consisting of the security cleared party representatives to the security and intelligence threats to elections during the 2019 and 2021 general elections. Rate. A panel consisting of the Honorable Ian Shugart. Greta Bossenmeyer, Natalie Druin, Gina Wilson, and Marta Morgan, members of the Critical Election Incident Public Protocol Panel during the 2019 general election, Ix, James Judd, author of the Assessment of the Critical Election Incident Public Protocol for the 2019 general election, to appear on his own, X, a panel consisting of David Morrison, Francois Daigle, Rob Stewart, and Marta Morgan members of the Critical Election Incident Public Protocol Panel during the 2021 general election, San, David Vigneault, Director of the Canadian Security Intelligence Service, to appear on his own for two hours, Thur, John McCall McBain, former chair of the board of the Pierre Elliott Trudeau Foundation, Third, Elise Comtois, former executive director of the Pierre Elliott Trudeau Foundation, the Honorable John McCallum, former ambassador to the People's Republic of China, to appear on his own for one hour. Exteen, Jennifer May, ambassador to the People's Republic of China, to appear on her own for one hour. C, for the purposes of this study, it be an instruction to the committee that I, it hold at least one additional meeting for a duration of three hours during each house sitting week concerning this study. A, to it hold at least one meeting during the adjournment period beginning March 31st, 2023, if necessary, for the purposes of paragraph A, 3, any proceedings before the committee in relation to any motion concerning non-compliance with paragraph A of this order shall, if not previously disposed of, be interrupted upon the earlier of the completion of four hours of consideration or one sitting week after the motion was first moved, and in turn, every question necessary for the disposal of the motion shall be put forthwith and successively without further debate or amendment. D. For the purposes of this study, the Committee shall, notwithstanding paragraph P of the special order adopted on Thursday, June 23, 2022, have the first priority for the use of House resources for committee meetings, and E. The evidence and documentation adduced by the Standing Committee on Procedure and House Affairs during the current session in relation to its study of foreign election interference shall be deemed to have been laid upon the table and referred to the Standing Committee on Access to Information, Privacy, and Ethics. Notice also received from Mr. Cooper, St. Albert, Edmonton, Mr. Barrett, Leeds, Grenville, Thousand Islands and Rideau Lakes, Mr. Chong, Wellington, Halton Hills, Miss Dancho, Kildonan, St. Paul, Miss Lanceman, Thornhill, Mr. Shear, Regina Quapel, and Mr. Berthold, Megantic, Lerable, March 16, 2023. 
I hope for Canada to calmly, coolly, and collectively look into those that decided democracy is for chumps, and like, this chump ain't like, stop until they put me down. Soon enough, the tweets be true. Hugs, kisses, and best wishes.